Hi, I went to the SAQ today and I thought we would make my favorite summer beverage. My summer favorite cocktail. My favorite summer cocktail. I also got um, three different wines, my favorite wines. I went for dinner with my family at my sister's house. Her and her boyfriend barbecued. And her boyfriend, Mike, if you watch her, had these two wines which are re were really good super cheap i think one of them was 15 dollars one of them was 30 uh 13 dollars so this one if you like red wine is really good hello oh my gosh it's camera you need to get your shit together this one super good and then this one is super good also Anyways, it's not gonna focus. And then my all-time favorite, Jacob's Creek. But I also got a little, as a way to treat myself, I got a little Prosecco to make an Aperol spritz, my favorite drink of the summertime. I'm washing my favorite wine glass from Ikea. But this is what they look like, my favorite glasses ever. I thought I had more Aperol than this, um, but I think I took it to my sister once or something. Anyways, okay, we're, we're still gonna make it. I'm gonna fill this up with ice. I like a lot of ice. And now, you probably should measure it, but I kinda just eyeball it. So I think I'm just gonna finish up this Aperol, which isn't even a lot. I thought I had two. I thought I had the rest of this one and then the full other bottle, but it doesn't seem like it. That's so weird. Um, and then I'm going to take Prosecco. So I do like equal amounts. And then you take some soda water or club soda. I just use soda water. I only have watermelon soda water, but that's okay. And you just do like a little splash. Now we're gonna mix it on up. And let's taste it. Mmm, oh my God. I'm gonna go enjoy some of this as I finish my little cleanup and then my one of my old best friends we actually haven't seen each other in a really long time is coming over tonight so i'm really excited to see her we're gonna have some salad and oh, behind the scenes of filming a youtube video <laughs> i started filming around oh i want to say 12 I, I started filming and i think it's now 3:20. so that wasn't a very long filming day but it wasn't a fashion um filming day so normally fashion videos take way longer excuse my makeup i have filming makeup on which tends to be a little bit heavier sometimes looks a little bit cakey perk of filming like a favorites video or even like the hair video i filmed today is that they a take less long to fi um, film and then b they take less long to edit so i'm gonna go sit on my couch and just edit all night long i think because I wanna get both videos edited. I'm just turning off all the lights now. I'm not hungry yet. I just had, I made like a little pizza for myself before I started filming. I'm gonna try to drink all of my water cause I've been not doing a good job the past two days. I wanna finish at least this plus another half by the end of the day. Are you excited? <coughs> hey, hey, hey. <gasps> is that your treat? I spoke about this in my um, summer favorites, but it really is amazing. It takes your nail polish off so fast and you just put it on your nails and you can already, see, like I already see my nails like bubbling up and it makes it super easy to scrape off. I'm, oh, I dropped coffee on my shirt. Don't mind, don't mind me. See, it's already coming off and it's been like not even a full minute. I should let it sit, but I'm like literally the most impatient person. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what I look like today. <laughs> it is Sunday today and I woke up with the worst headache and sweating. It feels like it's 400 degrees outside. And I got a notification that my Amazon package was delivered so I leaped out of bed because I'm so excited for this, I'm gonna show you. And it wasn't there. So sometimes, I don't know why, because it's really not that difficult. Like my address isn't difficult to find. 
but they always deliver my package to the building over so i threw on sweatpants and i walked outside and i was hit with this huge gust of like hot sticky air and i picked my package up and now i'm sweating i need like five huge glasses of water i literally just woke up i don't know if you can tell yesterday i cleaned my dyson and i somehow need to figure out how to put it back together i let it dry for 24 hours because it was looking so gross and dirty this is my outfit that i threw on to go and find the package i think that goes there yeah oh. there we go that looks right um and then we have to put this back on somehow <laughs> oh. I feel like I'm gonna break that well I know this has to go here because this is where this is where it goes something up that was easy once i watched the youtube video on it it went back together super easily honestly this thing gets so dirty i definitely recommend cleaning it's on it was gross to say that that was my first time but i definitely recommend it because once this gets all clogged and this gets clogged like you can tell your vacuum um, doesn't work as well. And then I also cleaned this because this is like the dirtiest part. I couldn't rinse this in water, but trust me, this looks so much better. So I'm gonna go vacuum my house because it looks like I have a toddler in here. <laughs> me, I am the toddler. Okay, I made my coffee. I feel a little bit more like a human now. It is a pumpkin spice latte because I'm so excited for the fall and for Christmas time. I somehow stumbled onto Christmas TikTok. I never want to leave, okay? I'm so excited for the holidays. <laughs> my face is always so stiff when I wake up. As you guys know, I do my nails a lot, actually. The manicure place I follow in Montreal where I buy all of my nail polish because they sell gel, gel nail polish as well. I saw they posted like a butterfly manicure and I was immediately drawn to it, which is weird because I actually don't really like butterflies. Like I've never been attracted to them. My cousins used to love butterflies and and like I just ordered butterfly stickers off of Amazon and I did it myself. I have so many stickers on Amazon for like different things. But I needed a better way to organize my nail polish because it's just in a big um, cardboard box. Ooh, it's pretty big. I got this thing. Oh, it even has a handle. So you put all of your nail polishes in it. 40 nail polishes. Okay, so I'm gonna put these all in and then I'll show you guys. I got these little nail things and I'm going to paint the color on them. I just need to get a Sharpie because I need to write the name on it and I don't have a Sharpie for some reason. Um, so it's gonna be like a whole little salon. Okay, so this is the finished product. I honestly am embarrassed to say I have more nail polishes coming because they released a new collection. I think that my favorite um, nail polishes are these ones. They just go on a lot better and these are my favorite um, top coats and base coats so they just go really well oh my gosh you guys i just got the most exciting package in ow <laughs> broke a nail okay you want to know what it is the bug bite thing i got like huge mosquito bites huge mosquito bites and i thought i ordered this and like it took a while to come in but if you guys don't know what this is Basically, you place a tool over your bug bite or sting area, pull handles up, hold it for 10 to 20 seconds, push down to release the suction. And it's supposed to take the venom out of your skin. Okay. Okay, how does this work? Okay, so you have a little suction cup. So you you have a suction cup and then if if your bite is smaller, you can flip it around and use a smaller one. I don't know how I'm supposed to show you this. Okay, so here's my little sting. You push down and you put it over. Ooh! Okay, so it's definitely like a good suction. It doesn't hurt or anything. It's like, it's definitely a good suction though. I don't know if it's good. We're gonna let go. Oh. I don't see anything. Maybe I didn't do it for long enough. 
We're gonna try again. All the videos I saw of this, like you can literally see the venom after and I, I wanted to see the venom come out of my leg. No. I mean, it's not itchy anymore. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. He just leaped into my arms. A little Leo update. His fur is getting so much better. It's so long and fluffy. I'm gonna wait um, until it gets longer to groom him. And I'm not gonna groom him myself this time because that didn't end well. So many packages today. I got a package from Forever 21. So I thought we would do a little bit of a haul. I was working on the new collection and the doorbell rang. So the first thing I see in here, ooh, these look so good. They are just a pair of gray leggings. I love gray leggings and they actually feel, they feel exactly like the TU leggings that I love. They have a good band, they're not too thick. I'm excited about these, I love gray. This summer, I've been all about gray. I honestly placed this order because I wanted a bunch of new biker shorts. A lot of the stuff only shipped to the US, which is a little bit annoying. They're like a ribbed material. All of it was very affordable. <laughs> I'm excited about these. These are masks. Oh, they feel big though. Okay, I don't know whose face this is covering, but it's huge. It's like a simple t-shirt material. I like a thicker mask. I keep them in my car because sometimes I forget a mask like in my house or if it's in my purse. Okay, these are another pair of biker shorts. Just like a little gray sports bra. They have a lot of like good sporty clothes. Ooh, this is cute. It's like a little tank top. I hate all this plastic. I'd rather they just send me the clothes without this plastic. You know what I mean? It's such a waste. This salad is the best salad ever. This dressing is magical. And let's see this pita. Honestly, these are like the closest it gets. Besides my dad's pitas. <laughs> so good. And of course, I got extra... Tzatziki. My sister's birthday is this week, so I planned a little brunch for her today. She doesn't know it's for her birthday today, but you know, we we're gonna have a brunch. And I was like, why not make it birthday theme? Just make it a little fun. I was just caught in the rainstorm because I had to go to the grocery store, so that's why my hair looks like that. But I wanted to show you guys the decorations so far. This didn't look as bad before, but I think it fell a little bit, so I'll have to fix that. But everything here is from Walmart. These are her Ugg slippers that she wanted. This is a soap brow thing I just picked up for her. Um, so all the decorations are from Walmart and then on my table here obviously like the drinks and everything are in the fridge But I have some glasses some little croissants and then all over the floor I kind of have these little um, marbly pink balloons. That was like my theme golden pink These I bought because I thought they were like it was like a little balloon But it's actually meant to go on top of a cake. So that was a little bit of a mess up on my part I'm gonna quickly go get ready um, Well by get ready, I mean put a little makeup on and then I'm going to get cooking i think everyone's coming around 12 and it is now 11:06. so i got i gotta go hurry up do you want to show them your gift oh yeah Ooh. The, the fluff yeah slippers available in tons of different colors <laughs> fluff yeah <laughs> we got a little bit of a late start but we are cooking everything now we have the bacon in the oven my oven's a little smoky and now we're gonna put the sausage in. Hey everyone, okay, I know I look like a mess. It's been a day, it has been a day. I couldn't sleep last night. I ended up going to bed way too late. Look at these scrunchies that one of you guys sent me. So my sister actually ordered scrunchies from this website, Petite Barrette. It is a black owned business. These are silk scrunchies, they're super stretchy and they're amazing. Um, so I will leave her link down below. Thank you very much for sending them to me. One of you guys sent me a link to a website called Wallencia or something, and it was all like faux coffee table books, which I'm all for, because like, even my Dior book back there, like I just, I buy them for decorations and they're insanely, insanely expensive. So for me, like even if it was just a book with blank pages, I would rather that and not spend like a ton of money. However, I placed an order on this website and I think I ordered it like six months ago, I'm not even kidding, and I just got it in. And I'm not kidding, like for, like it's a, it's a cardboard box, like, 
empty cardboard box, which is fine because I'll show you the two that actually kind of came looking good. But this one came and it's all, you can't even, it's not even in focus. It's all kind of like, you can kind of see it there. It's messed up. And then also like chanel.paris.com. <laughs> Um, but anyways, if it was just like in the stack, like that's cute. I also got these two right here, which came undamaged and don't mind. I need to dust like really bad, but those actually look cute. So I'm not like completely unhappy with everything, but based on what a lot of you guys said, a lot of your stuff came damaged too. So the next thing I want to talk about and I want to try right now <laughs> is my couch slash carpet cleaner. So in a few vlogs ago, I actually spoke about the like the little green, this carpet cleaner, which is actually my sister's. I said it was amazing and it is. And I didn't want to have to keep asking her for it because of this little monster makes a mess like he doesn't have like accidents on the couch anymore but like if he's outside and he comes in and he like happens to jump on the couch which he did the other day his like little dirty paw marks get everywhere and just like i'm a <laughs> and i'm a mess like i'll show you guys a chocolate a place where i drop chocolate on the couch and this couch just like attracts stains it's a more couch from wayfair it attracts stains like i hate this couch with a passion it's not comfy the material holds on to every single little stain but i bought this on amazon <laughs> i went for the big mama i think this one was like 199 dollars, which was still cheaper than buying it in store so i'll leave a link down below but i was like if i'm gonna get it i might as well get the one with like the most suction the most tools these new cleaning products like really really make me excited so it looks like this not too exciting you get a little sample of this which is the pro bristle pro clean and protect um our most powerful formula for tough ground and dirt and stains which is definitely what i need i don't know what that is you get this like bigger nozzle and this one to go in like little corners and then you also get like a littler head you get two like good size like samples i guess okay so it's actually not a whole lot bigger than the little green one which i was expecting i thought it would be like this big but it's pretty much the same size this is the hydro rinse tool the one that i didn't know what is a hydro rinse oh what i think i'm gonna add a little bit of both because this is a permanent stain removal okay so we have the water Oh, how do we turn this on? Right here. It's a little loud, but that's okay. This is the before. Isn't that gross? Like, what is going on? This is the chocolate that I spilled that I would try to clean up. These are Leo's little paws. That's disgusting. Let's try cleaning it with this. Okay, but look at the color of the water that came out of my couch. That is so disgusting. <laughs> That's from one cushion, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's the next morning. I finished the couch last night. There's some areas that I kind of missed, I guess. I just didn't um, pay, pay close enough attention. But ba pretty much the stains are out of here, which is amazing. I have to do a little once over here. But this one looks so good. I did all the pillows and I'm just super, super happy. So this little guy is amazing. Like, look at this little bugger. Look at him. He was begging and begging and begging for me to let him outside and just so he could sunbathe. Let's plan our day. So I'm writing in my little planner. Clean house, answer emails, edit vlog, vlog. Oh, I also have to return at Zara. I think I'm, I hope I'm still able to. Thank you, the expenses. 
And that's it, I think that's what I'm gonna try to get done today. Although, I probably will only get two things done. I used to get really mad when I wouldn't get everything done on my little to-do list, but I'm only human, I'm only one person. Okay, so I am currently doing the dishes and I'm cleaning my air fryer because although I clean it every time, there was like a lot of like, um, I didn't realize this until I took it apart, but there was a lot of gross like grime on the base part, which by the way, if you don't have an air fryer, you totally need one. I got mine, I think, three or four years ago before anyone had air fryers. And I'm not just saying that to be like, I was the first. Um, but my friend Nico actually was like selling these air fryers, which is so weird now thinking about it. And I bought one from him and I didn't even know what an air fryer was. He had to explain it to me. And I still have the same air fryer. So definitely worth the investment. I use it probably four times a week. It cooks everything, potatoes, chicken. It makes the best chicken, fries, like you name it, it can make it. it can, you can make pizza in it, but I am trying to clean it. So I think I'm gonna do the vinegar and water trick. I'm doing it in my microwave right now, which I also need to clean. You can see there's like all dirt on there. I just put half water, half vinegar in the microwave put it on for two minutes. I'm gonna let it steam up in there and get everything all nice and clean. I think I'm gonna do the same in my air fryer, although I don't know if it's gonna work. And I also only have floor cleaning vinegar, but it only has like vinegar and essential oils. I think I'm gonna do like one extra minute. It was really dirty. And then I'm gonna do the same with my air fryer and turn it on. I don't, although I don't know if that's a good idea. Whatever, we'll try it. You guys like my pajamas i just use like a little ramekin and i scrubbed everything clean so i'm going to do a little vinegar not too much i did more in the microwave but i'm a little scared also if you're debating between the air fryer and the instant pot i use the air fryer like 500 times more just because for the instant pot you need water and i prefer like things crispy rather than like wet and moist also, I've dropped this thing like a billion times and it's cracking. Like I should probably get a new one. It's like melting and cracking, but it still works. I'm gonna wipe it down and clean it, but I'm not spending no money on a new one when that one works perfectly fine just because it looks a little disheveled. Also, I have to go through and clean my pantry. Don't you just love my um, Instagram worthy pantry? I think I'm the only person on Instagram whose pantry looks like that. Honestly, that smells disgusting. The combination of like the grease. I don't think my microwave has ever been this clean. It smells like a little bit like vinegar, but I'm hoping that if I leave it open, that will air out. Okay, so I was just doing some laundry and getting the upstairs done. I finished kind of organizing the clothes that were on my closet floor. And then I got my Aritzia package, so I thought I would do a little haul. I ordered these yesterday and they already arrived. They're these little green biker shorts. I got these because I have a sweater in this color, so I kind of just wanted to create a full green look. Although I don't know if it's exactly this color. It's a similar green. Um, I'll have to compare upstairs. And then look at this huge Aritzia bag. I don't think I've ever gotten bag this big. Okay, so the first thing I got is this really pretty sage green. I've been loving sage. Um, we have a new sage Jador bracelet. I've just been loving, oh my god, that would look so cute with this. So a little sage kind of crop sweater, perfect for the fall. I'm already in fall. I don't know if you guys can tell. And then I got a matching pair of sweatpants. So it's just like a little set. My favorite sweatpants, I'm wearing them right now. I got one of my favorite sweaters in this nude color, which is a little bit different than I expected. If I could find dupes for them on Amazon, I will. They're just huge zip up hoodies. I got a pair of green sweatpants. And the last thing I got, which was the most expensive thing, was a new pair of a Goldie jeans. Uh, I'm so excited about these. I got these in a the size 24. I have this style, the color of them is perfect. I have this style, they're the 90s, the 90s jean. I got them in a 25, because normally I'm a 25, 26 in jeans. Like in Levi's, I'm a 26. 
but in a Goldie, I'm a 25. I ordered a 25 and they were way too big. I feel like they're gonna be so comfortable. So I'm gonna head back upstairs and I actually wanted to see if these are gonna go with my sweater because if they don't, I bought these for nothing. Ooh, okay. So here is the difference. I don't think, it's not really the same color. That's a bummer. I'm out of breath, okay? This is the time where I just want to like give up.